Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in and we just hired someone on Fiverr to create us a new logo introduction. Uh, stay tuned to see how that turns out and the reason we need it is because this is our current logo introduction. Well, hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I am really excited to share that we are getting official. And what that means is we're getting a logo introduction. Um, I am looking on Fiverr right now at different gigs. And for those of you who don't know what Fiverr is, it's a really cool website where people basically do different things for $5, such as take your logo and animate it, or they could do a voiceover or edit a photo or something like that. So every gig isn't exactly $5. Um, you'll see as I show this screen, some of them can be a little bit more pricey, but but it's a really great platform to find a creator and I'm really excited to see uh, what we can find. So when I go on Fiverr, there are a lot of different gigs to choose from and when I type in logo introduction, there are you know just so many different gigs. Now most of these are templates where you know the creator just plugs in the logo that you send them and that's that. I wanted something a little bit more custom so I, I did some digging and I actually looked on YouTube. Can I come up? Clearwater Farms Organic Mixed Berry Yogurt. Uh, lactose free, she absolutely loves this stuff. And when the baby's hungry, the baby comes first. This little one wanted to join in on the fun here. Uh, so I went some digging, I looked on YouTube and I saw a bunch of different people on YouTube actually uh, kind of reviewing different creators and I finally landed on this creator here for the logo. So this creator, uh, Uofsky, and you can see here he is unavailable until February 6, 2020. The current date is, what, January 24th. So, and he says, hi, sorry, but I'm overbooked this week. I'll be back on February 6th. Now, the first time that I actually found his gig, it said the exact same thing. I put a little note saying, okay, this is the date that he is gonna be back. And uh, I checked back later that day. He was available, but then he got overbooked that day. It was like very fast how quickly he was overbooked uh, and then he said the same thing so it was a couple different times that I actually set calendar invites um, to myself to finally check to see when he's gonna be available and I finally got available of him I like woke up at midnight to book the, the gig just because he seemed to be booked out so quickly and I thought that was a really good thing because obviously you know he's in demand he's doing something right um, the gig it's, it's only $35 which is fairly inexpensive I didn't want to spend something like $5 I wanted something that wasn't quite uh, just a template a cookie cutter template I wanted something a little bit more custom and he does custom animation and he's from the Philippines and so obviously $35 goes a bit further than than, than someone just working for five dollars here in the western world so i placed the gig and right away it asked me for what i'm actually looking for and this is what i said and i'm realizing now that i got the first revision that i made some errors so i said hey there congrats on your success i've been trying to book this gig for a good month now lol this is my youtube channel intro and i give our youtube channel address our website is goandlove.com the name is in reference to two Bible verses, go and make disciples of all nations, and this is my command, love each other. And we basically just vlog our life and want a cool logo intro for each video. I've attached our logo color variations, that's where I made the mistake, I'll explain later, and honestly not quite sure what I have in mind for this MP4. I, I love what you, uh, the work that you've done and I checked out your YouTube channel. It all looks awesome. I'm hoping you have some inspiration when you see our name and logo. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you want to bounce an idea off before you work. Again, thank you. We're really excited to see what you come up with. So obviously I wish I gave a little bit more critique and at least showed him some different logo introductions that I thought were really cool. And then I also made the mistake of, um, I sent him the AI version of our logo, but I also sent him this file as well. And this had all three of our logo variations based off the various background colors. I realized that was a mistake because he thought this was actually the logo, um, when in reality it's just one of these based off of what background you have. But right away he responded and I thought that was the coolest response and he said, hello, thank you for ordering. I will make it worth the wait. I just thought that was so cool. So three days later, uh, he said, thanks for waiting. Here's your order. Feel free to tell me if you want anything changed. And um, so here it is. So 
it's cool. It's definitely very cool. I wouldn't use this. Um, first things first, it has all three of our logos, which I would never have all three of our logos with the different backgrounds on the screen at the same time. Um, and that was probably my fault. I shouldn't have sent them all three. I should have just sent them one. The other thing, I thought it was actually a little generic. I was looking for something a little bit more custom. Um, again, I probably the wording that I told them in the uh, initial briefing, it wasn't a specific enough. So I corrected that and here's how I responded. Thank you. It looks cool, but I think it needs a little work. I can purchase an additional revision if needed, or I can send you a tip. One thing I want you to know right away is that I never want all three logos to be on the screen at once. I was just showing you all three color variations that we've created, smiley face. And again, like I'm trying not to be rude or anything like that, but yeah, I just need to uh, be a little bit more direct, I guess. All right. I've attached a logo intro that I saw yesterday on YouTube that I loved and I would like something like this. I love how it starts out as a transparent background, goes to a full screen background of the logo and then ends with a swoosh off. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see what that actually was. It's from a channel called Wolf Den. It's a channel I, I just subscribed to as well. So just to review, like I love how the logo, it starts off transparent, but you see the logo and the background and then the whole screen goes white and the logo changes from a white logo to a black logo and then swooshes off. I just thought that was so cool. So I sent them that as inspiration um, and I said, my thoughts with this scene in mind for my logo is that it starts with the top white logo of the three variations of the ball rolling from the left to the center of the screen as a white transparent background. And then I was thinking the white arrows coming off the circle quickly, making the screen all white, and then having the circle transition to the bottom red logo, as you can see with the night, as you can see it with now with the white background. Then ending like you have it currently with the swoosh back to a transparent background. If you can see, if you can see the attached video and have something in mind that you think would be cool like this, go ahead and integrate it. Hope that makes sense. Sorry to make you work longer and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I realized that like having them change it all is pretty pretty much starting from scratch, which, which stinks. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I'm excited to see uh, what revisions he makes from there. Two days later. Hey guys, all right, it's been two days and uh, man, I am really excited to share with you what happened here. So um, after my uh, uh, critique, he said, I greatly appreciate the honesty. I'll remake the animation accordingly, which was like a relief for me just because I knew like, I asked him to do a, a, like everything different, basically restart from scratch. And I wanted to make sure you knew that. Thank you so much. I'm realizing I'm giving you a lot more work. I really appreciate you. It's good and thanks. Then he says, I was wondering, for the transparent first part, is it okay if I put the video in a green screen instead? I can't make a transparent background on my video and I have my tablet. And on video, for those of you guys who know video, every transparent background is always green screen for video. Um, for photos and editing, it can be actual transparent backgrounds. But yeah, that's how uh, uh, video works. It's you add a green screen, at least I think that's the only way it works. Um, anyway, he also then um, requested uh, two additional days for the delivery time. So that's where we're at right now, two days later. Um, and uh, yeah, so he then delivered this. Hello, hope I got it right this time. Feel free to tell me if you want to change. You don't need to order a second revision. Just chat me. So I thought that was really nice as well. Um, and this is what he sent. So again, there's no, um, you know, there's no um, um, music or anything like that and all that stuff. And man, I thought this was just so cool. I, I, you know, it was essentially exactly what I had in mind. Um, the only thing that I noticed was that it just has our icon. It doesn't have our name, Go and Love, or uh, font styles or anything like that. And I realized why he did that. Um, and I'll explain that in a little, little bit. But I said, wow, that's so cool, man, I love it. The only change is to add the go love words maybe below the circle or to the right of it. Not sure which one will look right, but man, wow, thank you so much. So uh, I realized when I said that, that it, I, I didn't want to just leave it up into his hands again to figure out what looked right. So I went into Illustrator, into my editing file software and decided to play around with it. And it just didn't look right the way that our logos uh, configured as is. If you can see here, our logo has the icon and then the words go love to the right of it. And 
The love is in bold and red, and with that icon in the video in the center of the screen, it just didn't look right having the words to the right of it. And I tried to put it below it, and it just didn't look right having the bold letters below it either. So I played around with it and decided on this. I went back and uh, told them, okay, I was playing around with the font. I think it looks best with the font all thin and below the icon. I've attached a screenshot and I uploaded the vector file of the font so you have it easily. I was thinking that font pops right around when the icon turns red, but whatever you think is best works good with me. Man, I'm so blown, blown away by how awesome this looks. Thank you so much again. So. Uh, yeah, I sent him the actual font file so that way he doesn't have to figure out what the font is and then just a screenshot of you know what I was expecting. So he finally responded and this was just a few hours after I sent that all and he said something like this and here is the final edit. So cool. So right now, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that you're not really sure how that actually looks like in a film. So this is what it looks like. So cool, right? Oh man. And so I obviously I added that sound effects or the sound and realistically I might change the sound every time. I kind of like it that way where it's not like a set sound every time, but maybe I'll use the same sound every time. I just thought that one fit really nice. Um, so how this ended, I just, yeah, I gave him all five stars. I ended up giving him a little tip and um, I was just very appreciative of him. He was awesome to work with. So if any of you guys need a logo introduction, like definitely contact this guy just cause yeah, he's super, super nice, super professional. And um, with a little direction, like he hit it spot on and I was just I'm blown away by how, how good this was. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And oh, if you notice, I also figured out how to add one of those little animations. So you'll be seeing that as well. And I know, we're pretty official right now uh, with the logo animation and that little subscribe uh, thing that you'll see in the videos going forward. And uh, hey, if you guys have any questions about any of this, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you all. and We just, uh, just adore every single one of our subscribers in this little community that we're building. We are almost at 450 subscribers. So we're just like a static that like, there's 450 people that wanna, almost 450 people that want uh, to be watching us. So appreciate you all that are watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, put the subscribe button. We really appreciate you and hope you guys are having a very blessed day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.